si Wenga. Gotta be better by. <laughs> I hope it fits. I'm trying to stay as positive about this as possible. We are going on an adventure. Adventure, huh? So, what happened? Nothing. We parked our first public dinghy dock. What are you doing? This is my precious. Your if friend. you have ever, ever seen a two hundred and seventy-five dollar beautiful turnbuckle that was custom cast that nobody ever has. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep with it. I'm gonna. No, we're gonna put it in the boat. We're putting it in the boat. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, put we're not gonna be sleeping. So it out. But. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so guess what we got? <laughs> so we're gonna be replacing this today, and we're gonna be replacing that that Maddie found when she was doing our inspection when we were leaving. Now the rod, how I'm going to do this is, I'm first going to be taking this turnbuckle here, marked it so that I know where to adjust it back to since our rigging is actually properly adjusted. And then um, take this ring off loosen the turnbuckle up to kind of loosen this up so the deck doesn't pop up on us and then this as you can see as you can see a little bit it has just that little bit of flex there has caused our deck to flex up just a little bit so what we're going to be doing is when i tighten this back down and before i tighten this down it should put it back into place so we don't have to worry about it so i'm going to loosen this up first and when i loosen this up Luckily, it's right here by the portal, so I don't have to climb out of the boat, do what I'm going to do, go all the way back down to the boat, do what I got to do, go back out of the boat. So it's just all I can do it all right here. So we're really lucky. And this bar for our deck flex comes right there. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to videotape this. Maybe I'm gonna just have to like straddle me. Like, uh, 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 uh. Sorry. I'm okay with you straddling me. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking a picture of what it looks like. Of what that cotter pin, which way the cotter pin is turned. And it's turned this way. So I can see which way the cotter pin is turned. So I know how to take it off. Good idea. Uh -huh. So I'll take the tension off. And what you can't hear is the deck creaking <laughs> as it goes up. <laughs> I just need this loose enough so that I can take this out. I do not need to take it all the way out. So now this is loose enough to where I can work and take that pin out. I'm about to take it away. Can you see what's going on? Yeah. what I do for y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to work here. <laughs> the question is, is it the same? 
Happy birthday. A little bit fits. Moment of truth. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Here we go. Here we go. That is not the way. Oh. Oh my god. I'm back here. Oh my god. <laughs> I would have died. Don't throw that foot down. Like, what the hell? The worst. Throw away the brown one. Check us out on Instagram so you can see a picture of the current situation <laughs> that it takes <laughs> to film this. <laughs> it doesn't fit. I think the threading is wrong. No! It's fine. Okay, it's... It's just a tip so far. So, I'm trying to stay as positive about this as possible. And I know it can be fixed. I think I'm just aggravated because we had to wait for so long and there was such a runaround on getting this part. Um, and it wasn't the, the yacht rigger's fault because they were being given misinformation by the people who were make, casting the part and milling it. So, when they made the new part, And I'll put a picture up there so you can see it a little bit better. It looks like they threaded it backwards. So got everything off. Everything's done. Ready to go. Go to put the uh, piece back on. I'm like, why? It's weird. It just won't thread back in. It's just weird. Yeah, so I really take a close-up look at it. And as you can see through the picture, it's threaded backwards. And it's Saturday. So... We were planning to leave, as a surprise to everybody, on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, and go to um, start, we were actually gonna head south, start our trip, and we were so excited about this, because this was our last thing before we can go sailing. But it is what it is, the universe wants us to stay here for a little bit longer, maybe they can get it re-threaded. I have never seen a milled piece be able to be re-threaded so I don't know if they can even do that. But you know what? I've seen crazier things happen and people pull stuff out of their butt that's like, oh yeah, just put this in there and you know, and then re-thread it and then it's fine. So who knows? It may work out perfect. But uh, so since it's Saturday, I guess we're just gonna be chilling this weekend <laughs> instead of doing passage planning. <laughs> But it's all right, you know, who, who knows? We still have other stuff to do, so it's not like I don't have other stuff to do. It was just I was really looking forward to this part, and we were really excited about it. And um, now it's not going to happen. So, yeah, let's stay positive and move on and do some other projects. And uh, we'll still get work done and do some other stuff and chill. Yeah. So since we are stuck a little with the part... We are going on an adventure. We are going to find a Publix that apparently we can reach by dinghy and a short walk. So here we go. Yeah, it's right over there. So Madeline found out where the dinghy dock is, and it's right over here in front of this uh, boat. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a little uh, dinghy dock over here. So the power of just stopping and asking a question instead of us trying to figure out where we were going, we just pulled up, asked, "Hey, where's the dinghy dock?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, it's right over here." So we're gonna pull up, tie up, 
and do our little grocery shopping and we are good to go. Yeah. So what happened? We parked the first public thingy dock. Yep. It's tied up over here all safe and sound. And uh, we're gonna go get some groceries over here. Yeah. So there's our little dinghy dock. We finished up all of our provisioning. We really hate using plastic bags, but we ended up getting a bag of chips, so that wasn't <laughs> gonna fit in a waterproof bag. And our Cuban bread is longer than the actual bag itself. So yeah, so we're gonna be heading out. We got a sailboat charter going out there. The dock that's over here. It's really nice, this dolphin landing. You ready to do this? Yes, let's do it. Uh, so we're gonna head back across and point where we're going, baby. That one. <laughs> so yeah, you probably can't see it on the camera, but yep, our boats are way over there. So it takes us about 20 minutes to get there and we'll be on our way. This is very convenient, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, nice little trip, nice little, little morning trip. Now let's, and then we're gonna go get us some food, because you know, food. All right, so what happened? So we, um, we had a number of friends tell us to go to this place called JTR Welding. So, which is right here in Gulfport, literally like not even half a mile from the marina. And after waiting for two or three weeks to replace this, blah, 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 they're like, hey, take it to them, see, maybe they can do something with it. You know, and then we'll work out the other part that didn't fit. And while we're waiting for that one to be replaced, I would have one that's repaired enough so that we could sail. And then when we would get the new one, we would go ahead and replace it and I would have that one as an emergency spare. So when we had to go take it to him, the guy was like looking at it and he's like, upon further inspection, it has another fine crack right there. Let me see if I can turn. Yep. So um, he said, yeah, this is, this is not repairable. He says, there's nothing I can do it for it. And we're like, crap. He goes, but I mean, if you don't mind having a used one, I just happen to have another spare laying around for $20. <sighs> Not $270, like the other one cost us, but $20. So thanks to Chris, thanks to Ben and Jen, thanks to our friend Jonathan, thanks to Paul and his wife, um, Melinda. Melinda, who we met at the marina, they all were like, oh, just go to him. Yeah, we should have went to him and we would have already been in the keys by now and not freezing to death. So, <laughs> let's see if this fits. So, let me get in here and I'm just gonna start screwing it on. And oh my God, look at that. Just threads right wow. in there. Unbelievable. Yay! So for $20, we're able to get our part. So blood, sweat, and tears, right? Right? Freaking tall people problems. <sighs> really? Right <God>. there. <laughs> this is like perfect head height for me. And if I'm not paying attention, he will thing, my catch head right it on every, every time. time. <laughs> Got a pretty good gash. I'm not showing too much because I don't know how squeamish you are, but he doesn't seem in pain. I have a really hard head. Really hard head. And questionable morals. See? He's already being affected. It's probably a concussion. <laughs>